السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو یو ہیو انسٹالڈ نا آپریٹنگ سسٹم لیٹ سے ونڈوز ایکس پی اور وستا اور سیون آن ورچوئل باکس اینڈ یو آر رننگ آؤٹ آف اسپیس دا سی ڈرائیو از رننگ آؤٹ آف اسپیس یو یو ہیو گیون اونلی اراؤنڈ ٹین گیگس اینڈ ناؤ یو ہیو انسٹال اے لاٹ آف ایپلیکیشنس سو یو ہیو ون آپشن ٹو یو نو وٹ اٹیچ این ادر ہارڈ ڈرائیو اٹیچ این ادر ہارڈ ڈرائیو اینڈ دین انسٹال ایپلیکیشنس ان دیر بٹ یو ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو ڈو دیٹ وائی بیکاز یو وانٹ ٹو انسٹال این ادر ایپ another operating system let's say you want to into the same first virtual hard drive so that you can do some you know grub testing multi boot operating system so you can do all that stuff so if you connect another hard drive and if you install you want to on that operating system then you will have to choose uh, you know that hard disk or this hard disk on boot up and then it will boot from there so this won't be like multi boot but this will be like two different hard drive so what we want to do is we we need just one hard drive right one hard disk and we are installing multiple operating systems in that now you are running out of space uh, you don't have much space so what we are going to do is we are going to create another hard drive okay this is a workaround to somehow expand right expand that hard drive from fixed it is fixed right it's 10 gigs you're running out of space and now we'll make it 20 gigs i'll just like show you so there are like three steps to do it i mean we are we are going we, are, we will be needing ha <laughs> we'll be needing three steps the first step is download any free partitioning tool right we are going to use this distro parted magic you can use sys rescue cd that's available out there you can use g parted we'll be using parted magic all right download the zip file extract the iso keep it on desktop and then let's go back to our virtual machine okay once you have downloaded that you can go to the virtual media manager and go to cd dvd images add the iso over here see i have it over here pmagic iso so now this is my virtual machine right as you can see over here yes it's 5 gigs i'm running out of space now i want to expand it i've told you why because i want to do some multi os testing let's go to general where is it storage yeah let's go to storage and then okay you attach the iso pmagic.iso you know how to do it right uh, the secondary master choose the iso as you can s uh, as i said earlier system rescue cd and also gparted live we have it so i'm going to use pmagic for 0.7 that iso so we have this over here and this is my original hard drive virtual hard drive it's 5 gigs running out of space i don't have any space at all we're going to convert it into 15 gigs so that i can install applications like so that i can install applications on windows and also i can install another operating system on the same same xp hard drive so now what we have to do is we'll be creating a new tweet tweet okay go to virtual media manager and let's click on new hard drive click on next dynamically expanding storage give 15 to 20 gigs up to you okay i'm giving 20 and save it somewhere okay choose the location could be you know any of these uh, partitions right save it once you save it i have already done that so i've created this multi dot vdi and so this is my new hard drive 15 gigs for it 33 mb actual size because i did copy something so um yeah so it's 15 gigs completely new there's nothing in there you know like hypothetically there's nothing in there so we are going to attach the new hard drive and we're not going to use it we're just going to attach it just check this out we're going to attach this new hard drive how did did i do that okay and i clicked on this okay first let me remove it okay uh, i clicked on this add controller no i didn't i didn't do that like okay i clicked on id controller and the hard drive add hard disk and i got this 7.vdi right i choose multi.vdi and i pressed okay or okay pressed okay so now i have attached two hard drives now let's go back to o to to system and we give cd dvd rom the top priority for booting up right for the boot so now it will boot from the dvd virtual dvd rom let's just like start it okay so 
here we have got the uh, potted magic it will take them some time to load up and we'll be back later on okay so we are back um potted magic we launched this uh, utility potted magic partition editor and uh, then as you can see this is the first hard drive the one which i was talking about we are running out of space yeah so this is ntfs 4.9 gigs 4.99 gigs and this is the second hard drive the 15 gigs one so just click on this and copy it right then go to the second hard drive and because it is unallocated we are going to device uh, we are gonna yeah go to device and create a partition table apply and it will take some time to create the partition table maybe it will convert it to fat I guess okay then once you're done click on the paste button yeah and move the slider all the way to the end S new size is 15 something something MB paste and click on apply apply again now this will take a lot of time <coughs> depending upon the file size so we'll come back later on um, so it took a lot of time to complete the process uh, so we are complete with the making a clone of the first hard drive and copying into the second hard drive so this is the 15 gigs hard drive right this is the 15 gigs hard drive um, make sure um, going to flags and checking boot keep this checked right by default uh, you won't have anything in there just check it close it and uh, then restart it restart the system so guys we are back at the menu and we are going to remove xp.vdi the first uh, the smaller version of the hard drive the first hard drive we're going to remove it and uh, just remove it and then if the CD-ROM was above, remove the CD-ROM again and give your hard drive the primary status, primary master status and your CD-ROM the prim primary slave. You can empty now, uh, you can remove the G-parted, right parted magic uh, ISO. So just like save it and now let's boot it up and let's test it whether it's working or not. If you get if it boots up then that's it we have done it successfully as you can see yeah it's working yes we have uh, the boot screen as you can see this is the C drive 15 gigs we are done uh, I'll show you why I manage disk management and this is the C drive NTFS 15 gigs before it was 5 gigs and we have successfully completed what we were trying to do okay uh, thank you for watching the video and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh